Unit 2 is on environmental pollution. Environmental pollution is defined. You first have to define the pollution. Environmental pollution is defined as any undesirable change in the environment caused by physical, chemical or biological agents. Fine? Now, there is a specific method to answer any question when asked about environmental pollution. I will divide it into six steps for you. Please remember the correct sequence of these six steps in order to answer any question on environmental pollution. Number one, define the environmental pollution as any undesirable change in that particular environment caused by physical, chemical or biological agents. Now that is okay. Number two, tell about the sources of the pollution. Now the sources of pollution are majorly two types, point sources and non-point sources. Following the definition of the environmental pollution under question and the sources of pollution, you then have to move on to the types of pollution. The types of environmental pollution, for example in air pollution, you will have to mention about the major air pollutants which are carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, suspended particulate matter and ozone in the lower atmosphere and not the upper atmosphere. Right? Then, following the definition of environmental pollution, the sources and the types, you then have to tell about the effects of the environmental pollution. What are the health effects? What are the effects of the environmental pollution on the environment? What are the environmental pollution effects on the plants, on the animals, etc. Those are the points which you will need to write on the effects of environmental pollution. Now, following the definition, sources, types and the effects of environmental pollution, you finally move on to the fifth part which is the prevention of environmental pollution. There you can write about some of the preventive steps that can be taken in order to prevent the occurrence of such an environmental pollution. Number six, you will have to tell about the control measures of the environmental pollution. Now the control measures or the methods of environmental pollution are very specific to the kind of environmental pollution. For example, in air pollution, you have specific air pollution control devices such as the electrostatic precipitator or the cyclone separator. And in water pollution prevention, you have specific water pollution prevention control measures or methods which are the effluent treatment plants, the wastewater treatment plants and the water treatment plants. And in any of the water treatment plants, you will have to remember that they are divided into primary treatment, secondary treatment and tertiary treatment. So those were the major points or a rapid revision of the environmental pollution unit or how it is organized. Now you will have to go into detail into each and every type or kind of environmental pollution.